Alright, so welcome back to Whittleton Creek for the bonus kill video. 47. This is also going to be the last bonus kill video this mission with for this uh, Hitman 2 series. Because the next three levels are the last three levels in the game. And I think they all have kind of an air of finality to them. So I will be only showing those three versions. So first up... We're going to mostly focus on Janus in this mission. Because Janus is the one that I think has the most fun kills in this uh, level. Nolan Cassidy is kind of just fine. He doesn't really have much going on for him. The way that I killed him in the main video by exploding him in the vault is by far his most fun kill. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe like a big explosion or something. Also, I really like the suit, the Requiem suit. It's a reference to uh, Blood Money. The, uh, the final level of Blood Money. It's just a cool little, little callback there. I don't remember how you unlock this. I also- I know that the- the Blood Bunny suit is in... Uh, Hitman 3. It's in all of these, but I don't know how to unlock it. I think it was a pre-order bonus at one point, but I, I don't know how to get it in Hitman 3. So, we're just going to want to kind of get out of here. Really, we're going to want to get one of these guards' outfits. But right now, it would not be a good idea to grab one of theirs. There is, thankfully, one guy who is very easily accessible. Right through uh, Janus's garage, which is also very easily accessible. Also, I've, I've said multiple times, in fact, I, I think I said it in the Whittleton Creek video that a lot of these trilogies of games have felt like a remake of sorts of Blood Money. And in Blood Money, I think the, the level that's just a neighborhood like this, I think is called A New Life. And this one's called Another Life. So, I mean, I really, it's got to be at least somewhat intentional, you know? Blood Money, of course, being my favorite game in the series before these three came out. I still think you can kind of look at all three of these games as a season, like different seasons of the same game, even though they're really not. You know, they are technically called Hitman 1, 2, and 3. They're not called, um, you know, Hitman Season 1, 2, and 3, even though they were, I think, at one point supposed to be, but, um... I would still consider them all one big game. They they flow so well into one another. They're very minimal gameplay ch uh, changes throughout all of them. Now here's another big thing that you need before you can actually do this level is you need a wrench. Thankfully there is a wrench right in this little house here. And that is really all we need for the setup. All we need to do now is go into Janus's room, and we will be good to go. This is a, this is a very very fun one. I think you can also poison the cigarettes. No, that doesn't. I don't think you can do that. But yeah, I think you can poison his um, his oxygen tank. So we're just gonna wait for him to get out of here. Unfortunately, because he was already in there, means he's got to do his rounds around the house and in the backyard. Which means I had to wait in this room for quite some time. But a great place to hide is just that closet right there. You get a, you get a pretty good view of Janus from the closet. And if you try and stand in this room, the guard that's always with him knows you're not supposed to be there. So, just gotta wait. Janus, Cold War spymaster and the first Providence Constant. 
I wonder how much he remembers. How little he cares. <laughs> I love that Gray doesn't even get to finish his sentence. Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Who are you? We are close now. Seriously, who are these people? Where'd they come from? So, next up, we're going to do yet another Janus one. This one is fun because I like to blow things up, and this one involves that. Calm down, Demolition Man. Calm down, Demolition Man. One of Janus's gardeners has decided to Look, we here on this channel don't like cops. Using that guy might be the best cop. Ever. The way he talks is just so funny. Sadly, local fictional cops are fine. We like fictional cops, don't we, folks? If, you were to find if I didn't like fictional cops, I wouldn't like half the, the cast of the Resident Evil the games, so... Janus. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce that license, okay? Oh, come on, man. It's standard procedure. You stuff the holes, and then you blow up the tunnel system so it collapses. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> So I was trying to lure this guy into the garage, and then he just started walking away to a, a way more secluded place that is way easier to grab him from, so, like, hey, thanks, bro. Making my job easier on me. I heard that. So yeah, we need to grab this guy's outfit, and then, as explained in that conversation there, he did get his, is there, show yourself. his gear stolen by the police, and we're gonna have to go retrieve that, even though... I do have an explosive already on me that I brought into the mission with me. Specifically to kill Janus with. We still have to go retrieve that. I mean, in order to follow the mission story, I think I don't need to. But I'm going to, why not? Never a bad idea to have an extra explosive on you. And I get very ballsy here. Things have been going very well for me in the last couple of videos. And I was just like, I can just come in here, grab this, and leave, right? Which, yeah, technically I was able to do. I was able to go in there, take that, and leave. But the uh, the cops start shooting at me. And at, there was a point here where I was like, okay, I gotta reload the save. Couldn't do that. Because I think I would have to start the whole thing over again. Didn't really feel like doing that. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep going ahead here. So, I did this entire thing while the police were, like, hunting me. And, uh, yeah. It, it gave it a little bit more scary music than I think this part deserved, but... It's fine. So, all we really gotta do is just talk to this guy here. I understand you have a mole problem. Oh, you're a godsend. Let's get straight to it. The sooner this is fixed, the sooner I won't have to listen to Mr. Janus' complaints. Follow me. This is insane. I don't know enough about gardening or, like, pest control, but is this see, what you do? You just issue. put things in holes no, to get rid of mole hills? If you could just fill the holes by the end of the day, it'd be great. You can find me when you're done. So, when he's not looking... So, what we want to do is put the remote explosive rubber ducky in there. And then, uh, we have to- we do have to fill up all the other holes, and I didn't bring anything else with me, so we're just gonna kinda look around this area for some other items we can put in there. Blueberry muffin, this wrench that we got last time, and we are gonna pop over to the party that's taking place next door and just see if there's anything there. Pick up quite a few sodas, some sodi pops over in here, and I think that should be enough. Obviously, I could've put- the other explosive in one of these holes too, but I don't know. One explosive is enough. Great. Let me have a quick look. A bit unorthodox, maybe, but you got the a job bit done. unorthodox? I think you're looking at a yeah, hole with a blueberry James muffin in it. Himself. That's incredibly unorthodox. Hey, Thomas and Jane used to mole hills. All right, Janus should be here to inspect the work soon, 47. This part kept annoying me because that one guy was always like constantly aware that I'm not supposed to be here, so I couldn't like travel all across this garden, which was very, very annoying. I don't know why that guy knows I'm not supposed to be here. 
I'm sure that he's gonna tell us all about it. You know, old people syndrome. Oh, here he is. Mr. Janet. He's shit talking him, and he's like right there. Yes, Mr. Janus. Gardner took a bit of a non orthodox approach, but they do look filled to me. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that myself. Thank you very much. This looks good. Seems like I've been forced to deal with moles my entire life. I think if I had buried something else in this one and like left him and placed the explosive in the like final hole he checks out, I think you'd get like a more opportune time to blow him up. Like I think it would be, you know, one of the one of the funnier dialogue options, but you know what? Let's just blow him up now. There he goes. Now this is incredible. I didn't even know you could do this until I tried it right here. I didn't know you could throw the explosives. <laughs> oh, that one makes me laugh. I don't know why. So this is going to be the last like story mission that we're going to follow here. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. And I don't know why I'm letting this, like, intro play out so long. Maybe... I mean, I guess I accidentally did it to savor my costume that I'm wearing in this part. Because here I am, <laughs> Clown 47, had to do the clown outfit at least once in Hitman 2. I think I wore this in the first one at some point. But can't not be a clown. So again, this is the last story mission, but this is not going to be the end of the video, because I decided at the end... Well, you'll see. Right? Yeah. So I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this could be useful, 47. Get this. He told me that he doesn't so, the bug. Thankfully they, they just stored his chemicals right over here. I don't know why they stored it here. Oh no, I don't think this is a situation like the last time. I don't think someone confiscated this. I think this is just where he keeps the pesticide. I don't know. Whatever. But this, this is another pretty fun one to do. Uh, I don't know if you can bring in like lethal poison and just kill them instantly. Because this only knocks them out. We just gotta get rid of this guy. I think I'm addicted to the, the garroting right now because I haven't really garroted a lot of people. Except for Vanya Shah in that one video and now I'm like, I, ne I need to get more people garroted. Well, I do believe that is the last garrot we will see in this entire playthrough. Because this is actually the last thing I recorded. This is actually the last thing I recorded right now. <laughs> was this video, so... I have everything else done. So I, I know what happens and what doesn't. But we're just going to want to put this in here. Oh yeah, did I ever finish my train of thought? I don't know if you can bring poison in here. And just knock them all out. What we really need to do first is make sure that Nolan Cassidy is actually in the house. And to do that, we need to... Well, we need to disrupt something in this house and get him in here. We need to cause a problem big enough in this house that gets Cassidy to actually come in here. Because I think by default, I think he just roams the neighborhood. I don't think he very often comes in here. No, you don't see me, pal. You actually don't see me. Hate to tell you. Also, I don't know what this guy's doing. I really don't know what he's up to. So in this room, uh, he has a bunch of guns on display. Really, all you got to do is break the glass, and that will immediately cause Cassidy to kind of start running into the house to see if his collection of guns is, uh, you know, safe or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But I was waiting around in this long enough, like, waiting for him to come in, that I didn't even notice when he was in the house. 
So I'm going to be just standing in this room, and then all of a sudden he's just going to appear. And I was taken so off guard by that, that I was like, oh my god, am I going to have enough time to run downstairs and poison everybody? And that guy sees me, and I was like, really fumbling through this whole thing right here. That's okay. Getting recorded by every single security camera in the area. There's going to be a lot of footage of this one. You know, for the news. Yeah, the whole house just got poisoned. There's this bald guy just Nicely running around. Done, should keep so, nice we do need to actually go house. in there and, you know, get rid of Cassidy properly. What am I doing? I guess I'm just... Oh, right. I gotta turn it off first. Obviously. Now, I don't remember when I get my great idea. I don't know if it's here or not, but these guys that were suspicious of me just start walking in the house and dying, which is fantastic. Okay, so I get my idea later on. Nope. Do I get it here? I do get my idea here, so I wanted to go back in the clown outfit. Just because I thought it'd be much funnier to do this uh, as a clown. Who needs they clussy eight? Oh, is the title of this video going to be Clussy? See, so, yeah, I think... I think it would have been nice if you can do poison that just kills all of them. But this is fine too, you get to have kind of a more personal touch on everything. And I love how just like on the cameras, there's just someone watching the cameras going, What the fuck? All these people passed out, that's fine, that's not cause for alarm. But a clown walks in the room and they're like, what the hell? Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. So this is when I decide to go on a rampage. And the rest of this video is going to be a clown rampage. So enjoy that. This is the only time we're actually going to be doing a rampage in this game. I did a rampage in Sapienza in the first game. I did that Mario Odyssey video where I dressed up in the Mario costume in this game and just killed a bunch of people. Which I really loved. I really loved that video. But I decided, you know what? This seems like it'll be a fun level to try and kill everyone on. So I just went until either everyone was dead or I died. You're just going to have to find out which exactly it was. I felt very, uh, very tactical here, even though I'm in a clown outfit. I was like, oh, those guys are going to breach that door. I'm just going to sit here and wait for them. And I'm not going to lie, there were a couple times where I got creeped out playing this. Where I was like, I'm, he's walking so, like, methodically. It's like the Terminator. He's just, like, going around, walking through this area, killing as many people as he can kill. And I, I started to get creeped out playing it. I don't know why. That usually doesn't happen. But, uh, yeah. I creep myself out doing this part. I think it might be the fact that I'm dressed like a clown. They're just inherently weird. So yeah, this was also when I was like, you know what, let me just try and see if I can kill Janus. And things literally worked out as perfect as they could ever go. Because Janus was walking outside as I was getting here. Otherwise I would have had to go into his house and like deal with all the guards. Probably would have gotten shot to death. And I really wish that you didn't have to pick up the clues every single time you play this level. Because I would have loved to have just ended this here. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to have to find clues to get out of here. And I decided that's not worth it. I'm not going to try and do that. I'm just going to continue to go on a rampage. Got to kill this politician here. Because this channel is anti-politician. Someone help me, I'm freaking out. Sounds like she says, I'm geeking out. Like, oh, I love murder. I'm geeking out right now. And here's where I had another idea. I was like, ooh, people are converging in this house. Let me turn on the pesticide again. But I think it's a one-use item. I don't think you can use it again, because I did turn the machine on. And absolutely not a blessed thing happened. Which is, uh... A bit unfortunate. Please. 
I felt really bad for that lady because that was the lady who just ran away. She ran to find that guy to help. And then uh, I just murked that guy too. Also, I think when he dropped, I think he like fell on his gun or something and that's what's making that noise. It's either that or the camera. I really don't know what's making that noise. I was very concerned. So yeah, this is, I think, where I started getting a little scared of the way I was playing this. Because I was like, God, this is so grim. Dude, just doing a mass shooting dressed as a clown. Doing it as calmly as possible. Also, this gun seemed like it had, like, infinite ammo. I've killed, like, ten people already. And I'm, I'm still not even, like, close to running out of ammo for this yet. Again, put yourself in the shoes of these NPCs. You're just holding a fun little party in your neighborhood, in your backyard, and all of a sudden a clown comes up and just starts shooting the place up. And he's targeting only men. Like, I don't kill a single woman in this entire shootout. Like, that's some creepy shit. I mean, yeah, I'm mostly killing people that are shooting me, but I'm also going out of my way to kill... Just like every single guy that I find. <laughs> He's a, um... Misandrist clown? Is that what... That's... Misandry is you hate men, right? The Adventures of the Misandrist Clown. So yeah, this is when I started running out of ammo, and this is where things start to turn south. For the, uh, the misandrous clown over here. Because I do still have this one, but this one's not nearly as good. There's way more recoil. It's not as precise. And then people just start surrounding me from every single area. So, that was the end of our, uh, our friend here.